Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day. Uh, I've had a few really good trips recently. I'm gonna go ahead and share one of those with you right now. I had a friend, uh, Sam, uh, who came along with me on this, uh, this trip this time. And uh, it's, it's at one of my favorite uh, herping spots. Actually, uh, check, out, uh, check out this video link right here if you want to see uh, more information about this uh, herping spot that I, that I absolutely love. All right, we just got started on our hike. And, oh, thanks for holding the light, yeah. And we got this uh, desert spiny lizard. Look at the colors on that one, though. That is awesome. Just kind of sitting out here in the dark. Look how dark it is. So, all right. Hopefully that's a, uh, a good sign of more things to come. All right, our first snake of the trip is this little Western blind snake, also known as a, uh, a thread snake or a Western thread snake. Just look how part of its body is just, just right underneath this loose soil. Don't let its lack of motion fool you. Once these things start moving, they can just get crazy. Take a look at that. All right, here we are. Our second snake is another blind snake, but I can't see it. Sam's got it over here, but I just, I, I can't find it. I can't see it at all. And now it's, it's totally got away. Gone, huh? Yes, a coral snake, exactly what I wanted to find tonight. Finding coral snakes is often very different than finding other types of snakes. Usually when I see them, they're just kind of stretched out in the open, bright, super easy to see. It's just like a candy cane right out, just stretched out right in front of you. It's almost unbelievable when you first see it. Now, coral snakes aren't rare, but I don't find them very often. The first coral snake that I ever found was in 1993. And uh, oddly enough, I did not, I was not able to find another one until about the year 2014. So there was a huge time gap in between uh, when I found my first coral snake and I found my second coral snake. Luckily, since 2014, I've been able to find a coral snake about every year. And, uh, and some years I've found uh, two coral snakes in a year. So in other words, finding a coral snake is a real treat for me. So keep in mind, uh, as the summer approaches, uh, that, uh, that I typically have uh, on my Facebook group an annual herping competition. That's right, a, it's a herping contest of sorts. Um, so go ahead and uh, check out, if you haven't already joined my Facebook group, go ahead and check that out. The name of the Facebook group is Arizona Reptiles and Amphibians herping community observations. Check it out on Facebook now. Coral snakes are elapids and have venom that's similar to the venom of a cobra. Their venom is neurotoxic. And even though their venom is fairly potent, uh, to date, as far as I know, in Arizona, there has not been a single fatality from a Sonoran coral snake bite. This is probably because of their small size. Their mouth isn't always large enough to find a place to, to bite. Um, they, have, uh, they don't have large fangs like rattlesnakes do. And so just a number of reasons why, uh, why this is probably the case. The best way to avoid being bitten and envenomated, of course, is just don't hold them. Don't touch them and just enjoy them from a safe distance. 
Coral snakes prefer feeding on small snakes, especially red snakes or blind snakes. So it totally makes sense that we, we found a coral snake tonight, given the fact that we're seeing these blind snakes. I love the bright, vibrant colors of coral snakes. Just look at the red, the black, and the yellow, which is practically white. Such a beautiful animal. It's so fun to see them. You have to just, you have to just spend some time and watch them, see where they're going. This one right here apparently has found a small hole right next to this rock. Apparently the hole is a lot more significant than it seems. It looks like it's able to get its entire body down underground. I'm guessing this is a, probably a familiar place for it. See you later. All right, here is another blind snake. This one may be one of the smallest ones I've ever seen before. Here it is. Let me stick my uh, hand here for reference, size comparison. And even though blind snakes are small, and you would think not very easy to see, uh, because their scales are so reflective, um, it, it actually ends up being a little bit easier, in my mind, uh, to be able to find them, or at least to be able to see them with a flashlight at night. If you look at the most recent books about uh, Arizona reptiles, you'll find that uh, these snakes are referred to as thread snakes. I absolutely cannot stand the name thread snakes. Uh, when I was younger, uh, they were referred to as blind snakes, and that name has always stuck with me, and so that's, that's what I continue to call them. And another blind snake. I can't believe it, a total of six blind snakes. Blind snakes are one of the preferred foods of coral snakes. So it totally makes sense that this coral snake was out hunting tonight, you know, given that there are so many blind snakes out crawling around tonight. Blind snakes, like many other types of snakes, spend the vast majority of their lives underground. They are known to eat termites, ants, and other small insects. Blind snakes really are fun to see. They're just so unique looking. They're so, their eyes are so primitive. Uh, their scales are so shiny. They really are cute, uh, surprisingly. Surprisingly enough, when they flicker their tongues, that is one of the cutest tongue flickers that I've ever seen a snake have. As you can see, blind snakes can be locally abundant. In fact, on this trail, this particular hiking trail, I, I tend to find more blind snakes probably than any other snake. I love hiking this trail because at the right time of year, it seems like I'm practically guaranteed to find at least one blind snake. All right, looks like I got another snake coming up to my house here. Oh, wow. This is a huge long nose. Look at this. That guy is big save this thing before this car comes. Close this door here and get this off the road before this car comes here. Got it.
crossing the road this way, so I think I'm gonna, oh, but shoot. It's not really much vegetation that way. Let me put it over here. Once again, thank you for joining me on my adventure. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe and join our Facebook page in the description below.